I wasn't recording. Back through again. So this is the Victorian room. We thought I was recording and then of course, no. No, why would you be recording? This place is so gorgeous. So we actually stayed in this room one night. My sister rented it. No. It's so hard to get everything in. It's absolutely just gorgeous in here. And this is your Bisbee Grand Hotel. And yes, yes, the rumors are true. The place really is haunted. But when I was here, they were very friendly and we didn't have any problems at all. This is the bedroom we stayed in. Chandelier. So, tidbit on old style beds. The reason they have the fabric around them is because during the winter it used to keep the coldness out. So the fabric would be brought down and they used to stick the pans underneath the bed the bed warmers and they would create this little section of heat hi sorry again I thought I was recording and it would be able to keep you warm through the night so that's how people were able to live in those big old drafty places so this is one room mirror Picture. Hey, You're leaving me? No, she's cleaning it. Oh. They're getting ready to rent it out. Somebody stayed in it. This is yeah. the oriental room. Yeah, I took some pictures. I love how they got the There's an orange oh. frame with those curtains. That bed is awesome. That's the mattress we dragged out. <laughs> so horrible. Yeah, because I, I, Adrienne's down there with the baby, so. Oh, yeah. And then I want to get back to the front door and take some pictures of the stairs. Go okay, down. I'll see you in a minute. This is the Oriental room. And this is an absolutely... Gorgeous bed. This is one side of the room to enter into the bathroom. The bathroom has two doors. They blocked the other door and turned it into a closet. So, we come out here and we go through this door. Turned it into a very tiny little cook closet. <laughs> oh, there's an old fashioned oriental tea set. We're gonna walk through. Go check out a few of the other rooms. Peek at this one. And this is the grand staircase that separates everything. And on the other side, there's another room. little nook.
little kitchen area. Let's see if I can get a better view of this. There you go. bathroom for this one. This one's gorgeous. Let's see if I turn on a light in here. Yes. This one. Big mirror. actually go out in the courtyard and have breakfast or lunch or whatever you want to do out there. It is so peaceful in this hotel. Let's exit out to the courtyard. I don't think anybody's out there, a lot out there right now. That's the grand staircase that you have to walk up to get in. Picture of the Mona Lisa. Cleaning closet. Another tiny room. Another room is front. Go down the stairs and in this door. Hi. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. Some help once you set those down. Okay. What? I could use some help. Just go set those down and come okay. back and grab something. Okay. Are you for me? Well, you're just fine. I'm just kind of videoing some stuff. Oh. It's a beautiful place. It's a really nice place. We loved it when we stayed here. If you could take that, here's a strap, and I've got this. Have a nice day. Thank you. Oh yeah, this is the chandelier and the ceiling. Alright ladies and gentlemen, let's go down the staircase. So there's another side to this hotel. It's downstairs.
Ya. Getting there. I'm getting there. Hold on. This is the other half of the hotel. And this place is really, really neat. Because they have two rooms. I don't think we can go in the other room right now. But you can at least go in this one and see the wagon wheel bed. You can stay inside of an old wagon. So that's the end of this tour. I'll peek down into their basement. Oh, it's pretty cool. Alright, now I'm going to take you outside and let you see the outside of the building since that didn't record. Yeah, it's not open. I'm doing a plumbing thing right here. It's so pretty in there. Okay. So, this was the Bisbee Grand Hotel.